Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and the lovely greetings out of the 747-8. Today we'll be focusing primarily on how to fly an RMP approach with the Boeing 747. So the focus will be on how to manipulate the MCP and what the uh, FMA readouts actually mean uh, in order to fly this approach. So let's get started. Now we are already in descent, uh, we're just coming up to 10,000 feet and I'll guide you all the way down to the landing to show you actually what we have done. There you go, we're passing 10,000 feet. My captain is turning on the inboard landing lights. Now don't get this wrong, I have flown this mostly with the autopilot engaged until reaching onto the uh, final approach course just to actually show you what the FMA callouts are and how to actually manipulate it to be able to fly this approach. Okay, I've put in this PFD display here. I have to say it is not 100% accurate because I flew the exact same approach one more time on a simulator and then I've added the PFD to this video. So the bear with me, it's a bit offset from the actual thing we've flown that day. So we now got the uh, descent clearance down to 3,000 feet by ATC and we are cleared for the RMP approach for runway 24. So in the FMC, the RMP 24 is inserted as you can see on the PFD right here. And then I ask for the approach checklist. And the approach checklist is relatively short. It's only the altimeters and uh, to read those out and to check that they're the same on my PFD and his PFDs and on the standby instruments. So that's the approach check is completed. <laughs> Some happy smiles here. Is uh, actually coming back from uh, Dallas that day. So we've already done like 10 hours of flying. <laughs> Then I obviously need to reduce some speed. So I'm asking for flaps one. And here you can see the slats extending. I mean, look at that beautiful wing of the dash eight. And you also can see that I've opened up the speed window that I've manually dialed down the speed accordingly to the flap setting. So if, if you look at the FMA right now, we have the speed, we have LNAV, meaning the lateral guidance is given, and VNAV path, so the vertical guidance is given as well. So for now, VNAV, understandably, descending down to 3,000 feet, and LNAV is following the flight path as it is inserted into the FMC. I've requested flaps five. You can see how flaps five are extending at the rear of the plane or at the trailing edge and yet again, dialing down the speed for flaps five. So we are now on the uh, base leg for runway 24. So the next will then be uh, a right-hand turn onto the final approach course. Yeah, always dialing up the heading bug. <laughs> That's a Boeing thing. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We also have the ND displayed now, requesting flaps 10 to slow even further down. And yet again, dialing down speed to flaps 10. So yet again, 
LNAV, VNAV, PATH are still active, so LNAV is orientating itself down to the final approach course. Yes, we're getting a Luxembourg approach to contact tower. My colleague does so. Then I need gear down flaps 20 to reduce even further the speed. And now this is where the tricky part starts. Now you can see me dialing down 1600 feet, which is actually just above the minimum. So the plane gets VNAF and still continues down descending. LNAF is still engaged, obviously. We have the final approach course. We contact Tau, we tell them we're established on an uh, RMP24. And the tower responds. Requesting flaps 30 and setting VREF plus 5 for landing. You can see how flaps 30 are extending. Requesting the landing checklist. Landing checklist completed. So we get clear to land by Luxembourg Tower. Okay, now we're 300 feet below the missed approach altitude. I then set 3000 feet as the missed approach altitude, but I do not press the altitude selector knob, meaning that the flight directors will continue showing down to 1600 feet, although 3000 feet is selected, and obviously LNAV continues on the final approach course. And then at a certain point, I will then disengage the autopilot and the auto throttle and continue flying the approach now manually but as you can see the FD the flight directors are still giving me that descent to 600 feet although 3000 is set okay, here we have runway 24 in Luxembourg now we're all done we have the final pro uh, approach configuration we got flaps 30 the gears down we've read the landing checklist the landing checklist is completed we've got clear to land the autopilot and autofrottle are disengaged. I am now more or less just flying the plane home to runway 24. Approaching Fantastic call out by the RAAS system. Five hundred feet stable. Call out by the uh, captain. Me, I'm checking that. Minimum call out. I continue. I respond by continuing this. There we have the Lux VR DME, which is a fantastic help, obviously, to give you the DME distance on your RMP approach. A couple of nice side views there. <laughs> And starting to flare, 40, throttling back, 20, and 10. touchdown. The speed brakes come up automatically. I apply a reverse thrust. In Luxembourg, I only go to idle reverse. The colleague responds with ref green, meaning that the reverser doors have actually opened. And we are slowing down. Seventy knots reminds me to actually close the thrust reverses if I would have used full reverse thrust. And I hand over the controls to my captain and he responds with, I have control. So now the roles switch. Now I am back on ATC. He is taking care of the airplane. Luxembourg Tower giving us a right turn taxi Delta 2, Alpha and Papa 7 and saying goodbye and obviously I respond and wishing him a great day. Then the after landing procedure. The captain makes sure that the speed brake lever is in the down position. Then I turn off the landing lights, the strobe lights and make sure that the uh, weather radar is off. I make sure the auto brake selector is in the off position. I move the flaps into the up position 
and make sure that the transponder is set to transponder so there's no more altitude reporting. That's uh, for the after landing items and then we taxi to the gate. So I really hope you enjoyed this short video on how to fly an RMP approach with the Boeing 747 and with a primary focus on the LNAV, VNAV and the FMA annunciations. And I'll be flying the exact same approach one more time with the Microsoft Flight Simulator with even a more detailed uh, explanations and therefore yet again there will be a checklist which you can download for your uh, personal use at home that you can fly this approach yourself. So thank you very much for your time. Here's your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel, check. Activate the notification bell, check. Follow my Instagram account, check. And also brand new, you can become a Patreon member. So sign up there. Wishing you all the best. See you next week, your Captain Joe. Ha, ha, ha.